on the other side of the road was um sunny really? on the same road just like on, on the opposite right. sides yes hmm. i was like only in tilakutri <laughs> <laughs> extra i think that's how you say it so we're going to use clear proson gel today apply it halfway on the nail but i haven't been to the uk in forever and now with all the new rules that they're putting in it's going to make it even harder to travel oh, overseas Liner up. Mm, freeze. I, can just imagine I know. Well, at least the planes probably won't be as packed. Going overseas domestic, flights are still packed. Like, there's no spacing between seats or anything like that. They have you back to back to back. Oh. And we're freezing the nail so that way she don't go anywhere. Out any bubbles? Can you do your own now? Mm-hmm. Is it hard when I'm doing my own for the video? Yeah. Um, I only do one hand. I think doing the other hand would be a little bit more tricky, but I'm kind of used to it now, I guess, because right. I do it so often, almost every day. down firmly make sure there's no bubbles and freeze i don't want to make sure the nail is crooked either the last thing we want is a wonky nail with mm -hmm. the new xx oh no these are not xx i keep wanting to put long nails on you sherry <laughs> these are long sculpted coffin the newest shape that we just uh launched here on the website do you not need a base coat no press on gel is a base product and it is designed to adhere the nails seamlessly So press down firmly. A la que si todavía no le ha salido. No, te estoy oyendo. No empieces de este a decir mentiras. Look at that shape, isn't it stunning? She's on top of everything. Line it up right at that cuticle. And that's a funny cuticle, isn't it? Yes, that one's a little wonky. Is it because that's my writing Yes, it's called the writer's bump. Oh. And I need to get new batteries. Um, my flash is not as strong. So if you feel that, that your flashy, the power of the light is not that strong, it's not that the light bulb of the flash is getting weak, it is the um, batteries dying up, so you need to get new batteries. Hold it down. You can, you can, you most definitely can. But as you guys have seen, with our express technique, you don't need to. Can you imagine if we were like sculpting or doing like a tip and overlay, we would have to be like barely mm -hmm. putting on the forms and then putting on the product and then shaping it and buffing it and all those steps and with the one two three go system you bypass all of that without compromising integrity without compromising quality or durability of the nail and i think that's what's so fabulous about the system do you miss wearing acrylics mm -hmm. oh, i don't miss doing no. acrylics actually this is so much easier i don't have these lips like acrylics really so even if like you hit them on something because they are more flexible
Look at that, so beautiful. Now let's do this. Uh -huh. Yeah, he gets around fine, like nothing. Mm -hmm. Pegaste los de la Kelsey. I want to say most definitely. Yeah, because you're so hard, because you're an equestrian, so you do a lot. Hey, and what are the salt licks? What are those called? Are they big or are they small? They come in different sizes. Oh, really? What do they taste like? <laughs> Have you ever tasted one before? I'm assuming they taste like Or curious? Why do horses... Yeah, as a kid, yes, I'm sure I did. Why do horses need salt? Why do they need... It's a mineral... Mm -hmm. it, doesn't make, dough, it doesn't make them swell up or anything like that, all the sodium? Mm -mm. No? I know, um, he had one, like, because we used sawdust and stuff in mm -hmm. the tent, and he would get where he would dig, and how he found the dirt, and would, like, try to eat some of the dirt, and one of the old men from the ranch, old cowboys. Bake it for a minute. He said, he goes, put some uh, salt cubes uh, block uh -huh. on there for him. Because and he liked the salt? Exactly, the mineral. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. I need to get my fantastic file. Because if I eat too much salt, I... I, I no. Oh. If I eat too much salt, I swell up and then my thighs get huge and my pants don't fit. It's true though! <laughs> That's what happens if I drink too much salt. And I love salty stuff. I'm, I'm a salty person. I, I learned, like, even I'm one that will put salt before I taste it. Really? You like salty food? Mm -hmm. I also enjoy the taste of baking soda. Oh. I don't know why. I must be missing a mineral like the horse. <laughs> right? <laughs> but I brush my teeth with baking soda. Yeah, I've done that. That's really good for you. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, that's what it is. We've got a new fantastic file. Make sure we line it up nice and even. Danny says I would... I still wouldn't mind seeing him do them live. Acrylics? Oh, I haven't... Gosh, I haven't done an acrylic in a while. This is so much easier. And it looks just as beautiful. I Give her a nice square, super square shape. Give you that 90s right there. A little bit further back. Mm -hmm. Look at that shape. Uh, soon, I think in a few weeks. So remember, when you're making the nail really square, how the kids like it nowadays, hold the file almost at a 90 degree angle and very, very firmly so that way it doesn't move when you're shaping. See, that way you can get that really sharp free edge that the kids love nowadays. I'm excited for the design today. It's going to be kind of similar to what I did yesterday, but you really like like the pinks and the gold and the almost like pastels, but still very like pearlescent. Very, very lovely. Look at that. So lovely. Really? 
I want to take them off when they say, okay, you said come in tomorrow. <laughs> I know, because you usually last so long without them, uh, with them on. And I was like, Sherry's coming already so soon. It's only been like a month. But that's a pretty good uh, time spent to switch them out every week, like yeah. four weeks. Unless you want to switch them out sooner than you most definitely can. And those are really pretty. They have a lot of compliments. I usually give a lot of compliments. When don't. So we're going to use the golden wand. And remember, I personally like to leave a little bit of space at the cuticle area so that way the bit can fit in tighter and I can just blend it out more naturally. And what this does is it makes it look so much more like a sculpted nail and it gets rid of the press on kind of look. If you wanted to have more of a press on kind of look, you most definitely can just leave it like that and just go straight into buffing. So it really comes down to personal choice. Yeah, they don't believe me when I tell them. That they're full nails. They're like, nah. Yep. It doesn't look like it. Nope, it definitely doesn't feel like it. I wouldn't believe that they were. If I didn't see the way you did it. It looks just like a regular nail, mm -hmm. then that's the point, I think. And you know, we really go into detail showing you guys all the tips and tricks and all the little things you can do to really just tailor the service. And where is my. Oh, it's in here. I got my mixer bit in here. Soaking. So we're going to use a mixer bit now. So do you think they'll do all the races again this year or are they going to postpone them? No, they already are. Really? Wow. Well, I guess. How did they like the tourists, mm -hmm. so like the gym show, they canceled so that's oh. probably They canceled the gym show? Mm -hmm. Did they have it last year? I think so, because wasn't it right before they started shutting Yeah, it was at the end of January. Mm -hmm. I know they canceled the Pasadena Rose Parade. Was it like the race cut here in Tucson last year? We had already started, and then they shut it. Oh wow. So we, Oops, didn't, so we didn't get to finish. So they probably won't do the Kentucky Derby then this year? Um, they probably will. Because it's later on? They're in, um... Kentucky. Yeah. Because some, well, like two is just the smaller track. But like, like they're running up in Texas. Oh, okay. But they're not running on the weekend. Just during the week? Mm -hmm. With limited capacity? But that place is so big, it's like three or four stories, and they have plenty of room to... Spread everybody out. So now we're going to use the purple buffer to remove the shine ever so gently. Did they do the Kentucky Derby last year? I think they just did it at a later date. Oh, that makes sense. I know the Olympics in Tokyo, a lot of people are saying that they should cancel them, but Japan said they're going to move forward with it. They? they were supposed to be last year in Jul uh, July, and now they pushed it back. Mm-hmm. It's very controversial, isn't it? Normal. How scary, huh? But I have to imagine it's the same as getting a flu vaccine or something. So we're going to use Fun Gel number 114. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Oh, Antonia said they canceled the carnival in Brazil. Oh. Oh, yeah. This color is lovely. It's like a nude mom with gold undertones.
And look at that one coat coverage. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Lena would probably like this color. Love Lena. It's kind of purpley. We can do it next time. What about red nails, Lena, for you? You pick that color. <laughs> You're like, I want that raspberry from the new inks. It's like red and gold now. <laughs> what color is your eye eye gonna be? <laughs> you are not, Lena. What color is this again? This is 114 from Fungel from the Lottie Dog collection. Really? The little one? And purple's her favorite color. <laughs> no, she's like, I want this one. She pointed to the bottle. That one coat coverage, she is no joke, you guys. Look at that. And no streaks. No streaks. Starla said you're gorgeous. Hey, senior. Mm -hmm. Pictures from Disneyland, and you are. She doesn't need a lot. <laughs> <laughs> She's not lying. Oh, that color and that coverage, it's so sickening. Okay, let's bake this for one minute. Really? What color does it look like? Like pretty purple. Like iridescent -y kind of? Because of the gold. Gold. Mm -hmm. Maxi Magic Film Glue, is it? I just use it yesterday. Gloria moves everything. <laughs> she does. I want to look for it. <laughs> you can't find it, it's her fault. It is, because she moves everything. <laughs> She's such a nice lady, but she always moves everything, and then I can't find it. She's in the warehouse today too, so. What are the foils I was going to use? Hi, Max. Hi, Sue. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to use Aphrodite and we're going to use Cosmic Girl. That's pretty. Which do you think we should use here that would go? Actually, all these colors would complement the nail base really pretty. This is really pretty. This is really pretty. Which one do you like? Either one of them. I really feel this one because it has that kind of like that blue that will just make it pop a little bit. Great. So we're going to take Maxi Magic Film Glue. And just... And random dots, if you will, specks, where you want the oil glue to be. And make it uneven so that way it just looks more organic. And we're gonna bake that pour. 10 seconds. Oh, I forgot it's just one hand. <laughs> Take your phone Pero tú nunca quieres ponerte uñas así. Look how cool that looks. 
porque tiene como base violeta, ¿verdad? giving us the porcelain fantasy and this is the Aphrodite foil kit too It's okay, we'll use white gel polish. Doesn't seem like I have any, it's okay. We'll use white gel polish. So I'm gonna take a little dab. <laughs> she said, Miss Cor is my spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> we'll use a little bit of white gel polish. We're just gonna add Just a little bit. Not too much. Just to break it up a little bit. And feather it through. Max, how do you take your nails off so clearly? Me? I use a peel off base coat that we're launching very soon. today. Go ahead and bake that just 10 seconds. And I'm going to add, remember, some of the gold just to make it pop and give it some dimension. But we are actually almost cut up with orders right now. Most orders are shipping same day. So I'm going to add a little bit where I want the gold.
10 seconds. And this is probably one of my favorite colds. It's so beautiful. And just makes the nail design really pop. Gosh, I don't remember where I put it. Really makes a pop, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Hey, Max James from Germany. Boom Tag. Yes, Shiny is shipping in the bottle that looks very anime-esque. This is the new permanent Shiny bottle, actually. We will not be having a new Shiny bottle after this for a long time. So pretty. Should we do rhinestones on one finger, Sherry? Yeah. What finger do you want the rhinestones on? What do you guys think? What do the girls want? What finger do you guys want the rhinestones on? I will let you guys decide. Let's see, should we do the ring finger? Should we do the middle finger? What do the girls want? Okay, this is a really pretty bling. Tell us what Tell us what finger, you guys. I see one for index. I see one for middle finger, two for ring finger. Ring, middle finger, ring, middle, pointer, mm -hmm. ring. So ring has the was the first one to get three, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so ring it is. So I'm gonna pick up some gummy gel. You already know the number one gel in the planet for rhinestone application. Hi from Australia, man. Hi, good day, mate. I'm gonna coat the entire nail in shiny. And float it on top of that gummy gel. Almost like you're frosting a cake. Because remember, when applying gummy gel, you need gummy and shiny together to work in cohesion for rhinestone application. Gummy gel holds the rhinestone shiny gel shrink wraps around the rhinestone so that way it will be tack free we're going to take our bling tool hi from south africa hi from south africa i'm gonna try to position it as close to the center as possible because i know everyone's like oh my god it's dangling on the edge <laughs> no 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 oh. i had a carousel with gold rhinestones in it. what do i do with it Yeah. Let's do a. I love me a good princess cut diamond. still use horses to make um jello mm, really don't they use like horse hooves for like glue or jello or something um i don't know about jello but glue a long time ago right i just heard they went to the glue factory <laughs> so they would make I don't know. they would make they glue do. out of horses It was a horse hose. They would just make jello? Not anymore? Um, she didn't say jello. Mm. 
Isn't that pretty? Just that little bit of accent. I need some more up here though. Maybe another curl. Gelatin and blue. Oh wow. Really? A long time ago. Isn't that crazy? I didn't know that. Gelatin to be exact. Hmm. I know in some countries they eat horse meat. Yeah. Well, like my husband swears that machaca. Is made out of horse meat? It's a donkey. Donkey meat. I'm like, no, oh, it's not. <laughs> I have to admit, I have had horse meat. You have? Mm hmm. <gasps> In Japan. Okay, let's bake that for just 30 seconds to freeze it in place. It's like a brooch on the nail, isn't it? I did. They call it, um, the French call it cheval. Is it like um, a delicacy or something? Yes, it is. And I remember it tasting very, like, irony. Mm -hmm. Like it had a strong iron taste to it, but it was pretty good though. But it's not something I think I would like go out of my way to eat again. He said horse. Horse meat. <laughs> cow and only cow for me. I'm, I'm very picky at what I eat. Even About the kind the of beef? Cow. Yeah, because sometimes <laughs> beef can taste kind of chemically. The same with fish. Well, like, yeah. Because it's like... Mm. When I travel, I like to, you know, I think it's part of the... Um, traveling and you know experiencing the culture right. is through the food right and i do have my limits like i don't think i would eat turtle kawama no mm -mm. My, i haven't but my husband has he says it's like um he says it's like vegetable like a beef vegetable soup sea turtle mm -hmm. really kawama, uh -huh. And he, he used it like down when we would go down to Nogales. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be like uh, very medicinal, isn't it? Like a lot of properties to it. No, it's still legal, isn't it? Yes. But I'm pretty sure that if you know people that will make it for you, they'll make it for you. Porcupine, I don't think I would try. Oh, actually, no, I take that back. I have had a porcupine. Oh. Oh yeah, I've had some issues with selfish in the past too. That pop of gold is so beautiful. Isn't it? Okay, let's bake that for one minute. Turkey's okay. A little bit on the dry side, though. Turkey? Yeah. yeah. What else? Quail, I don't like. I don't eat quail. I've heard people eat pigeon. I've heard that too. No, I don't care about... I don't want to try pigeon. Snake, I wouldn't want to eat snake at all. Ugh. You've had snake? And he eats them? Really? And you join them? Oh, French leaf frog. What did it taste like? I've had snail escargot. Is that Chamorro food? I've heard of people, you know, like those um, Colorado river frogs, the toads that are like, like they eat them. Dogs to get home, know that they would lick them. Oh, to, to get, get high, uh -huh. to get groovy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The things we talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait 10 seconds after the hand comes out of the lamp. Make sure they're nice and dry. Alligator, I've heard alligator is really good. What do they taste like? <laughs> but I heard it's very lean though. Deer, I don't like game meat either. I don't try it. I heard it's like very strange tasting. Mm. 
No, thank you. Really? Not down to try those. I don't even eat goat or eat. I don't even eat my chicken and my eggs. <laughs> I don't eat their eggs. No? <laughs> no. Goose eggs? On my store. What does snail taste like? It tastes actually almost like an oyster. But it's cooked with like a lot of garlic and butter, so you have that flavor. That's actually pretty good. You're just gonna have her. Y'all disgusting. She's the same today. Came today. Oh. But I don't, she didn't email you back, did she? Oh. Aren't they beautiful, you guys? Love this marble with that touch of gold. Let's give him that pose. So lovely with that color underneath, too. I am obsessed. Okay. Ooh, duck is pretty good. The flashy? It's the old one? Bye, nos vemos el lunes con Fort de Dios. I like duck. It's kind of greasy, though. Do you guys love them? The design is so pretty on camera, huh? Well, that's going to wrap it up for today. That was a quick video, wasn't it? Quick, fun, and exotic. Very Joe Exotic today. Well, my loves, don't forget to visit enocouture.com. And that promo code is still going on until January 26th. That promo code is Lunar10 to take 10% off your entire purchase. So take advantage of that. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next live video.